Ready to become a homeowner? In this video, you'll discover the truth about how much money you really need to put down on a house and what kind of financing options are available for you. Hi, my name is Betty Gonzalez with the XP Realty and Duran Homes by Betty Gonzalez. And I am so excited that you are considering buying your first home. We all know it is one of the biggest investments anyone could make, but there's one factor that may be confusing, the down payment. So how much money do you really need to put down on a house? That's exactly what I'm here to answer for you today. Welcome to my channel where I tell you everything you need to know about living in South Florida, especially right here in Doral. So if this is something that you're interested in, consider subscribing. If you're thinking about making a move, feel free to call, text, or simply send me an email. I love hearing from you. So if you have any questions, grab my information in the description below. Now let's get to what you came here for. Today's topic is all about down payments on home loans. Because I know that a lot of you think that 20% down payment is the only way to go when it comes to buying a home, but that couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, there are some programs out there that require zero down payment. Yes, you heard that right, zero down payment. The VA and the USDA both offer programs that require no down payment, as long as you or the property meets their criteria. For example, the VA loan is available to active duty service members, veterans, and their families. Meanwhile, the USDA loan is available to low-income families in rural areas. These programs are fantastic options for those who may not have a lot of cash on hand for a down payment, but still want to own a home. Now, if you don't meet the requirements for those programs, don't worry. There are still plenty of other options, like Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac offer conventional loans with down payment as low as 3%. These loans are available for single-family homes, condos, co-ops, and even some manufactured homes. Plus, they offer fixed-rate mortgages with up to 30-year terms and adjustable-rate mortgages. If you're looking for a program that's a bit more lenient on credit scores and other factors, then the Federal Housing Administration or FHA loan might be the way to go. With an FHA loan, you can put in as little as 3.5% down. These loans are available for a variety of properties, including single family homes, condos, and even multi-unit properties. Real quick guys, if you're watching this video, chances are that you're thinking about buying a home yourself. Well, I put together a free virtual buyer seminar that you are welcome to grab in the description below. Now back to the video. Now I know what some of you might be thinking. Okay, Betty, so what's the catch? Well, there are a few things to keep in mind. First of all, some of these programs might have income or property restrictions. For example, the USDA loan is only available in certain areas and the FHA loan has limits on how much you can borrow. Additionally, if you put less than 20% down, you may have to pay private mortgage insurance of PMI. This is an extra fee that you pay each month until you reach a certain amount of equity in your home. That being said, there are plenty of benefits to putting less money down on a home. For starters, you don't have to wait as long to save up for a down payment. Plus, if you invest the money that you would have used for larger down payment, you could potentially earn more money in the long run. And of course, owning a home is a huge financial asset and can provide long-term stability for you and your family. So how much money do you really need to save for down payment? Well, there isn't a one-size-fits-all solution to choose your down payment. It really depends on your situation and which programs you qualify for. I always recommend talking to a lender or a financial advisor to see what makes the most sense for you. They can give you a better idea of what your monthly payments will be and how much house you can afford. At the end of the day, guys, understanding your options and finding the right loan program for you is key whether you're starting with a down payment or a large amount of money. So there you have it, zero down payment with VA and USDA loans, 3% down payment with Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae conventional loans, and 3.5% down payment options with FHA loans. It's important to understand your options and choose what's best for you. I hope this video has been helpful. And if you have any questions or are you ready to take the next step, 
don't hesitate to reach out and give me a call. Thank you for watching and happy house hunting. And remember, my name is Betty Gonzalez, so I'm the military community of South Florida, from serving our country to serving you. I love where I live and I want you to love where you live too. Remember, go ahead and grab that buyer seller seminar. I see you inside that seminar. Bye.